humans, how art thou today? Doing pretty dandy myself, enjoying a lazy Sunday, haven't done anything for hours, which is fantastic. I mean, I've been pretty much playing Persona 5 for like 5 hours. Um, I'm re getting real close to beat it after 100 hours, and uh, I've got quite the backlog I got fixed. So, yes, yeah, so I'll probably get that done tonight in time for Game of Thrones, but actually not so much. So probably Game of Thrones first, then go back to that. Then I have work tomorrow, unfortunately. But anyways, no one cares about that. Today's video is a very special video where we ask the question... Is it worth it? So, what are we going to be looking at? Today's video, we are going to be going over the Copper Crisper by Copper Chef. It is a two-piece set. Oh, right front side, back side, which Two-piece set that basically allows you to uh, create crispy, crispy, crispy stuff. The amazing crisping fryer that works in your oven. Non-stick baskets allows airs to circulate around food. Cook without butter, without butter, without butter or oil. I want to emphasize that. So if this does not work, it says without butter or oil. Uh, sturdy and durable, easy grip handles, easy to remove tray, non-stick cookie sheet, less mess, catch crumbs, drips, splatters. All right, so anyways, I'm going to rip this bad boy up. You can see the uh, diagram there with uh, the magic happening. That's, uh, that's a diagram of science, apparently. All right, so let me uh, open this bad boy up. And uh, today we're going to be uh, making French fries because I think that's a really good test to see if it gets crispy crispy or if it's a sham. All right, not too much going on here. You got your copper crisper instruction manual. Uh, like a chef, anyone can cook. Probably some recipes. Let's see. No, I'm just, uh, just trying to trying to sell you more crap, apparently. So, get that out of the way. It's not important. Um, let's see what we have here. D -d 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 -d. Frozen French fries, 425 for 30 to 35 minutes. Holy crap, it's going to be late by the time I uh, get to this video. Alrighty. And then, uh, basically, it just kind of gives you instructions on all the different things that you're going to be doing. So, uh, let me just undo this guy right here and uh, I'll take a look. So, there's that. A bunch of cardboard. A bunch of that. Alright, so, this is your uh, scientific crisper. And then this is the pan. Apparently, you probably you know, do cookies and crap like that. So, it kind of goes in like this. And uh, you just throw a whole bunch of crap in there. So, uh, the fries we're going to be using are Delicious Rally's Fries. Um, trust me, I this is not a sponsor whatsoever. My God, I wish it was a sponsor. Sponsor me. Sponsor me. Um, because I love Rally's. I mean, they're checkers. Rally's one way or the other. I'm here in New York. We don't have a nearby checkers for like an hour away. But when I used to live in Indiana, I'm like a... It's like the... My voice, my mouth. We used to live in Indiana. It was like rallies all the time. Yeah, rallies everywhere. Uh, their fries are freaking amazing. So I really want this to work because uh, the entire uh, delicious factor besides the seasoning of rallies and checkers fries is their crunch factor. So I'm going to open this bad boy up and uh, it smells frozen. All right. I'm just going to, I don't know, we're going to make the old bag or what? Dumping on in there. So, let's take a look and see if there's anything special about french fries. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu, using copper crisper for your oven if necessary. Don't need to add anything. Mesh tray. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it says it cooks all food. Sides your foods even without burning or turning. Never need to flip your food. Uh, Alright, so it doesn't really say much at all. So, um, I don't know. I don't have that many in there. I mean, you can take a look. I got it. Just uh, let me let me pull some out just in case, you know, because you know some if this doesn't work, someone's gonna comment and be like, "You put too many French fries in there, yosh." All right, so there we go. That's a pretty even layer. You got the basket on the bottom there. You got this here and here. So I am going to get this in the oven and cook it for about 30 to 35 minutes, and then we are going to come back and uh, we're gonna find out if it was worth it or not. So stay tuned. I have returned. So yes, it has cooked for the full amount here. And uh, as you guys can see, fries, yeah, fries. Yeah. Fries! Oh. So yes. 
Here they are. They, they're really freaking hot, and I'm kind of worried because I know it's going to burn when I get it. So I'm going to dig right in here. We're going to see how crunchy they are, how well they did, and everything like that. So I'm going to pull one right off the top here. All right, so we have one here. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet. Hmm. Ha! Hmm. That ain't bad. That ain't bad, that ain't bad, that ain't bad. I'm just kind of digging around here. Hmm. Alright, alright. Not bad. Where's the thing? Um really hot you guys can kind of see in there a little bit like can't see if you can tell or not there's one right there so stuff like this like there's some real real mushy ones in here like this guy right here oh freaking hot um so some of the ones that I have eaten are wow I'm really sweaty you can tell about I've been cooking. So some of the ones I've been I've been eating there are really tasty. They got a good crunch factor to them. Uh, they taste good. They cook really well. Hold on. All right. So yeah, some of them are really really freaking good. Others are kind of floppy doppy. I mean um, that, that isn't exactly. Crispity cruncher works like an amazing oven. Uh, allows the air to circulate, makes it cook real well. So my problem is the consistency factor. Some of them are really good. Some of them are really crunchy. Some of them are really floppy and greasy and mushy. Now, granted, I did do frozen fries, but it does have frozen fries on there. I'm sure if you did like fresh, like freshly cut potatoes, then maybe it would be good. But even then, it wouldn't have much flavor because you'd have to oil them and everything like that. But this is just straight out the thing. Uh, certainly does still not taste like the Rally's fries at their restaurant, unfortunately. Those just, uh, they just can't be replicated. Moving on from that, though, this isn't a Rally's fr uh, frozen bag french fry review, even though it, sh it could be. I go to five. Um, this is a Copper Crisper by Copper Chef review. So the question that you're all wondering after all that nonsense is... Yeah, kind of. Okay, um, yes and no. So it's worth it in the sense that the fries that I did eat were really good. They were crunchy. They were tasty. Uh, I, I keep going back to eat more and more. I mean, I do love freaking french fries. Um, what kind of annoys me, though, is that a lot of these are, like, floppy. And, you know, I don't mind mushy fries. I like mushy fries. But that's not what the product is. It's a crisper. It's supposed to have crispy, crunchy fries. So I'd say probably looking at these, about half of these are not crispy crunchy. And I actually did the full 35 minutes just to make sure. So some of them are a little extra crunchy. Um, it doesn't say anywhere about limiting how many fries are in there. I don't have that. I mean, the basket's not even that full. But the, the problem is with this, uh, the, with, with the French fry maker is that they're talking about consistent. Like they, let me, let me look over here. It says, uh, I know I saw it somewhere. Maybe it was in the instructions or whatever. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, it's not consistent through the fries. So that kind of bothers me a little bit. So I'm going to have to rate it a... 6.5 uh will will i keep it maybe um it was only 20 bucks it's not really that expensive but you know the fries that it gave me i can also make on a oven pan but at the same time you can tell this uh can be used to different things here um it's kind of cool it's not so hot anymore so um it collects grease and all that crap on there so that's kind of nice actually because it's like a french fry make it is a basket you can put stuff in there and the, the crap falls to the bottom um uh, I'm actually going to amend my score to a 7.5 uh, 7 based on that because you can really get some extra usage out of it. Uh, and I find it, you know, it's going to be a little bit better than an, a regular oven pan because it is a basket that holds other stuff. You can use the bottom half for other stuff as well. Copper tends to be really non-stick anyways. Uh, and it looks, you know, pretty snazzy. So I'm going to give it a 7.5. Is it the best crisper out there? Will it replace your air fryer? Absolutely not. Um, but does it make some pretty damn good food? Um, yeah, absolutely. So would I recommend you go buy it? Yeah, pretty much. If you want a, a basket that you can throw in the oven and cook crap in that collects crap. Uh, that makes some pretty good food. 
All right, so other than that, we are good to go. So thank you all for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing this video. Uh, I'm trying to move my videos to Friday, but I keep forgetting. Uh, so right now it's going to be Sunday, but I think next Friday I'll make a video as opposed to Sundays. It's just a little bit more, uh, a little bit better for people to be able to watch it and stuff. I know it's on Sundays, everyone. It's pretty much just kind of chilling, maybe watching their favorite shows and crap isn't exactly on YouTube. So probably going to move it to next Friday. Other than that, uh, toss me some comments in there, suggestions, different things to try out, different types of videos. I'm all for it, and uh, I will see you all next time, meow.